how are you? Yes, my love. Thank you. How are you? I am. I am feeling wonderful. I'm feeling very, very well. Thank you. I'm. I'm actually. I'm actually picking up on your vibration. Um, as I, I was just in meditation, and my spirit guides is like, client, 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 client. Just saying, client, 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 client. <laughs> And I'm like, client, client, client. I almost, I almost, with the help of my spirit guides, almost forgot the 6 p.m. appointment. But because really? but because I was in my zone and I was resonating yeah. on your frequency, which I'm feeling yeah. wonderful as well, they aligned they aligned me with, with me connecting with you. And then when I said, I said, oh, yes, that's the sister with that. <laughs> And they said, yes, the pineal gland has been opened. The gates of heaven. So I'm feeling like more so because I was doing a lot of pineal meditation, opening up okay. and making, you know, maintaining the communication or maintaining the relationship I had with the ancestral realm. And what they said about you, and I'm going to allow you to, you know, express yourself because I do know you have some things you want to say to me. But what they said about you is that the gate, her gates is opening. Her, it's slightly enhancing. So I'm not sure if you have been, you know, in meditation or doing, you know, spiritual practices or any type of work. But what your spirit guides are saying that she's on a she's transitioning, she's on a mission. And then two, the two colors that's coming up with you now, my love, is the color white and the color yellow. And what they're saying is new beginnings in springtime. So the color white in any event is dealing with purity, is dealing with releasing, as you said, that you feel like you have overcome the forgiveness, which I'm gonna get into. And then yellow, and then yellow, they're saying the yellow was dealing with the solar plexus, your soul chakra. And what they're saying is that she is becoming more in tune with that first mind or that first brain. And what I always say, and what I always say is that you you know when you say you have that gut feeling, that gut feeling mm -hmm. is the right mind but right brain but many people say your third eye or your higher centers is not in my situation right. you know yeah. um yeah, yeah so so basically as above so below so my spirit mm -hmm. guys so when i was in meditation my spirit was saying listen she's in transition and, and her third eye or rather her all-seeing eye is opening and then now, while I'm channeling for you, your spirit guides are speaking to me about your solar plexus, willpower, creativity, you know, n not allowing your emotions to take over you, but rather taking yeah. control of your emotions is what they're saying. She's getting better at it. She's getting better at it. And they're very, they're very um, delighted and, well, they're telling me that they're delighted and seeing so. I want you to begin working with Amethyst. If you haven't already done so, um, Amethyst, have you have it already? Yes, I do. Okay, mm -hmm. because that's what they're showing me. Um, it's Amethyst, and they're saying, listen, tell her to work with that so that it can, ex that's a tool that you can use to help you with right. your transition or to help you find peace and balance. And then, too, okay. what they, and then, too, when, once, once you spoke to me about, um, you know, the forgiveness aspect, they said, hey, listen, this is a situation where the physical body is now, um, catching up to the spirit body. The moment that great. you say that once more. That's great. <laughs> yes. What what they're saying is the moment that you started to give, and the moment that you started not to speak with um anger and not to speak with animosity towards the man that did you wrong is when you started to graduate. So in any situation, you know, it, it the, the the that feeling it's it's still there, but it's more so like it's improving. You know when you get a boo boo, when you get a cut, like the boo boo's still there, yeah. but it's still healing yeah. in a sense. So that's yeah. perhaps how come I was able to pick up what you had to heal in order for you to get to where you need to get to right now. Because with 
what they're saying, yeah, because what they're saying is, listen, this is a situation where now she is going to be receiving her karmic reward because now she's acting differently or rather treating things or responding to things differently is what they're saying. So it's your response. And as you begin to respond to things differently, the key or rather the heart begins to unlock itself. The heart begins to vibrate on a specific type of frequency where it's like I no longer ho hold animosity. I am now free. So in any event, in any event, your response to certain situation is what is saving you. So you know, since I, yeah. you know, it's like oh, some people wait on others to save you or say I need Jesus, I need this, I need that. I know this is right, not who right, you right. are, but in any situation, what they're saying is she is saving herself. And I'm also seeing doves. Um, white doves fly, um, flying. So that's a form. That's a form of freedom and purity as well. I want you to begin to light up, and you want to anoint your two white candles, um, with cinnamon, is what they're okay. saying, on a Friday. So I'm more so feeling like that is in honor of Oshun, um, dealing with love and abundance and prosperity okay. and good fortune. So you want to get with her in this particular cycle now, um. Okay. Right, you want to get with that um, in order for you to, you know, uh, continue on with your journey, continue on with your healing process. Because it's all about wisdom with you. And it's all about reacting to things differently other than how you would react to it in, um, previously. And I'm feeling like more so with certain things that you haven't, uh, certain things that you haven't learned in your past life that you are now mastering now. So it's like, okay, yeah, yeah I've been hurt. Yeah, this has happened to me. But guess what? Now I'm a little bit more giving. Now I'm a little bit, little bit more loving. Now I'm not going to allow things to control me. Now I'm not going to allow my feelings and my emotions to control me. So this, these are the lessons that you are now learning in the cycle of 2016, which is the number nine, which is the number closest to God, my love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm doing another fast once again, a seven-day fast, because summer was Monday. Yesterday, right? Right. Day Some, yeah, so definitely. Last, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I started last week, mm -hmm. and the end of the past is technically Wednesday. So I went Wednesday to Wednesday, mm. and uh, then I'm going to do a detox. So a fast into a detox. Right. So my fast, my fast right now is just coconut water because I find that I don't get lightheaded. I don't get dizzy when I do the coconut water. So yeah. And that. Go ahead. No, go ahead. And no, I'm saying, and that's good. That's a beautiful thing, um, because one one thing for sure, um, when I provide you know nutritional consultations to some of my clients, I always tell them, um, coconut water, watermelon, watermelons, um, juice, or rather cantaloupe juice, are electrical foods, and the body benefits from that those particular food categories between 5 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock in the morning because if we understand the magnetic frequency of the body we know that the body is electrical that's why the central nervous system is the powerhouse of you know the whole body itself and the central okay. nervous system operates on what electricity so in order right. for what the pineal gland or the major glands in the body to operate Properly, you have to feed it with what? Coconut water, watermelons, you know, cantaloupe, anything electrical. So every, so that's why I'm saying with you, you are actually with this particular cycle, and I'm saying cycle because there's no such thing as timing. What they're saying is you are getting closer to God, and you and God is only yourself. You're only getting closer to the divinity yes. in you, right? Yes. By right, yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like yes, 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 right. So you are only getting closer to yourself, um, by taking these certain steps, and these are the these are the steps that are necessary for you because I'm just so feeling because of what you have came. Um, here with like the lessons that you had to learn again, you know, and in order for you to unlearn certain things or to release certain things or to get closer to your highest good, 
Uh, detoxing, yeah. detoxing is a wonderful thing. Um, spiritual baths is, is excellent right now. I've been doing that since Sunday because every time you have this solar eclipse or equal or uh, equinox or anything, this is the best time to rather fast, to rather detox, to rather get on your spiritual cleanse. That's why I, between between sessions, I'm I'm in meditation. Like it's it's it, it, it's very crucial for me to be in meditation only because of how the earth the the magnetic frequency of the earth right now during this time. So you're oh. you're actually within alignment, my love. That you're doing this now, this is perfect alignment. Oh, great, great, great. You know, um, I am use the tools that I'm using are um, you know, the tuning forks. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm using I'm using that along with the candles, the green to open my heart, mm. the white for for clarity, mm -hmm. and also I use the tuning forks for my water, I, and for my body too, because I use the frequency of five twenty eight for my heart mm -hmm. and four thirty two for the earth and the sun. So I just want to make sure that I'm always connected, and I really do feel that that has helped. Yeah. Because doing that in the last, um, I'm going to say in the last month or so, or a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. a situation transpired between my son and I, mm -hmm. which actually, thank God I, I have a wonderful, 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 wonderful friend who is spiritually connected to me. Mm -hmm. And she told me that it's deeper than that. Because I had a problem with men lying to women. And mm -hmm. I would internalize it or personalize it as if they were lying to me. Mm hmm that's what my anger would be in release. Like, mm -hmm. when you said it, the first time you said it, because you said it to me twice, mm -hmm. and the first time you said it to me, I really did not see it. The mm -hmm. second time you said it, when you said it the second time, I began to do some soul searching. Like, mm -hmm. I really, because, and, and, what, part of releasing is crying. Yeah. And I know through the tears, and I could actually feel it in my heart. Mm -hmm. I could feel pain in my heart mm -hmm. being released because, I was letting it go. Mm. Because, and, and can I say this? Mm -hmm. Three different incidents happened in the last, I'm going to say, year and a half, where some a male has lied to a female that I either know or work with. Mm. And I, I lit, mashed out at that male as if it was me, as if it was they did it towards me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I realized that it was unhealthy because I was involving myself in other people's energy. So why was it that strong? But I realized that it was that strong when I did some self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. It stems from my childhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really do feel as if my father being unfaithful to my mother right. had an effect on me because I think I saw something and I felt it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and that's probably why every male I ever attracted was never faithful. And I've been out of a relationship for 15 years, uh, mm -hmm. a sexual relationship, mm -hmm. but out of a, a serious, you know, where we're making, trying to build something for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it was just, you know, somebody I would, a go-to person. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. I know is a relationship, I get that. Right. But a build type of relationship, because I didn't want to be disappointed, I didn't realize that that's what I was doing. But when I, after the situation happened with my son, I realized there was something that I was doing that was preventing me from getting into a serious relationship because I was internalizing his relationship as if it was happening to me, even though he was doing it to somebody else. Exactly. And and that's and that's why your spirit guide said now it is the way you are responding to situations yes, yes. is how yes. is why now you are setting yourself free. So that's just a yes, confirmation I, right there that mm -hmm. they're telling you listen well they're telling me to tell you listen she is now setting herself free because she is now responding to things differently let me tell you what yes. let, let me ex, let me expound on what you just said anytime when you feel like you have given forgiveness forgiveness is when you are no longer angry with this person when you yes. can go and you can speak up you can speak about a person with love when you can be in the same room with this person and not feel no type of animosity, not feel, you can feel neutral. That's when you can honestly say that, you know what, I forgave this person. 
if you cannot do so, that means that you have to do more what self healing because it's never yes. it's never with the person. It's always with with you and yes. that's why I always yes. tell people never always tell my clients listen never take nothing personal that your loved ones do or other people's do to you because it's not it's not your reality it is their reality but the yes. main fact that you are connecting your yourself with this person and you are agreeing to what they are doing then now it becomes your problem so then as a result right. of it becoming your problem now you got to heal from that and it's like damn i got to heal from other people's situation but yes as you are growing as you are cleansing, as you are detoxing, as you are getting closer to the God self in you, as you are getting closer to the divinity in you, my love. Um, and I'm going to tell you one thing for sure. I, 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 I honestly feel that you um, would be getting with, um, with someone, um, with a mate, with a guy. I, I truly feel like someone is coming um, for yeah. you in the near future because I, as... And can I tell you? Yeah. Before this, I could I couldn't see it. I knew that it could happen, but you I couldn't see? see it. Now I can feel that it can actually happen. Because I was like, I really don't feel that. Yes, yes. Now I can feel it can really happen because I really released that. I had to. I am so grateful. Even the even though the the um situation that transpired between my son and I really hurt my heart right. because I I didn't even realize that what I was hit on his part, he felt like I was abandoning him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And on my part, I felt I was doing what was just and right mm-hmm. because I had to distance myself. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I now I can see the whole situation completely different. How you know? I know I had to handle it that way in order to get here. Yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? So I, like I told him, I said I don't re- have any regrets, but regrets for what happened. You know, and I thank him for being in my life for allowing me to see it that way. Mm-hmm. I said, and I apologized on more than one occasion. I really apologized. I said, but you know, I told him I'm not perfect and mm-hmm. I will make mistakes. I will, you know, and I just asked for forgiveness. And he, if he can't forgive, then I understand because then I know it's his issue. Exactly. That, that's, yeah. that's the bottom. That's just the bottom line. And, and let yeah. me, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you one thing, my love. I, now that we are speaking about um, this relationship or this, this, this connection that I see um, with this guy, and again, it, it could be already that you are your spirit is already entwined with another person's spirit because of the elevation that you're in now. But I do recall, now that we speak about it, I do recall when I, I think I did mention this to you before, and you said, no, I don't see it, I don't see it, because your heart was blocked. And now yes. that and now that you are growing, now that you are growing and you are loving yourself, now yes. you can see yourself in another relationship. And that's why I always tell my clients, listen, self-love comes first. In order for you yes. to attract yourself with someone else, you have to attract love with yourself. And this is what's mm-hmm. happening with you now. Now, mm-hmm. one thing's mm-hmm. for sure, many, you know, most most of the times when I do sessions, with certain clients, you know, it takes time for them to process certain things because again, I'm come I'm speaking to people from the spirit realm. It's not really yes, coming yes. from me. It's coming from the spirit guide. They know best. Yes. You know, they more they yes. know more than me. They know past life, you know, recent yes, life. Yes. So you got the whole history. Yes. Right. So it's like when mm-hmm. we you know, so when we speak about it, you know, it it's it has it has to program. It has to download for us to be like, Oh, this is what she was talking about oh i get it now you know oh okay i'm seeing this now you know i get all i Mm -hmm. get it all the time i get it all the Mm -hmm. time and and my love i am absolutely happy for you like i said when i was in meditation your spirit was coming to me like it's it's like boom (laughs) like a heartbeat boom boom (laughs) <laughs> it's like client, your client, your client, your client, your client, and I'm yeah, and I'm like I'm like my client, my client. You know, I'm vibing to the vibration, but I'm like client, oh, client, wow, client, wow. client. You know, and I, Go ahead. And I actually uh, put last night before I went to sleep, I took a glass of water for my ancestors, and I just kept saying Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. You know, and I just let them know that I am open for your truth to let you to allow me to mm. to hear 
what your your guidance. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I think he was having the um the, the session today, mm. so I was just open myself to whatever truth or whatever direction I need. You know what, what is best for me next. Now, when you said creativity, um, at the end of the year, uh, I my goal is to start writing my next project because I I did a play, I did a movie, and I want I would love to do mm-hmm. another movie based on the experience that I had in the last I'm going to say year 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 because it's been a lot of a lot of things going on, a lot of information that I've received, mm-hmm. and I I really do feel that that message needs to be put out because I know people, it's a new age. We're awakening. We're about to enter the Aquarian age. No, we're actually already in the Aquarian age, actually. we already in the cycle of I know. No. I thought we were... Uh, Pisces. I thought we. I thought 2021 was when we officially entered the age. No. I know we're close to... 20, 2012 Aquarian age. 2000. Not the uh, oh, not 12, okay. not 21, but 12. I switch oh. flip those numbers. Yeah, we already in the in the cycle of I know. That's why a lot of people are awakening now. That's why now oh. a lot of people are getting into the consciousness. That's why you can't lie yes. to us no more. It's not a, I believe. It's I know now. You know no. the truth. Yes. Yes. You know. Yes. yes. This is people see? are putting down the Bible and putting up. What is the nature? Exactly. You understand what I'm saying when I say that? They they they, they pay an attention to fire, to water, mm-hmm. you know, to the elements that could that are that are our original connect. Mm-hmm. And what I keep telling people, I said, you know, you a, a cat, a dog, a kangaroo, any type of animal does not need a book in order to learn how to behave. Mm-hmm. Why is it that we're supposed to be the most intelligent species? And we need a book, the Bible, in order to learn how to behave. I said, I don't, I don't, I don't feel that, I don't think we, I don't feel we need that. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to somebody that was a Jehovah Witness, and, and I didn't know she was a Jehovah Witness, but I just expressed my feelings, and a lot of the things, that are the concepts that I believe she believes. Mm-hmm. But she kept saying that Bible, and I wasn't arguing with her, but she was open. And I love the fact that she was open to hear what I had to say. Because and we, I told her, I said, go ahead. No, go ahead. You know, I told her we, I told her we was, I was going to have a, a get together, and mm-hmm. I would love for her to come because mm-hmm. I love when people, you know, are sharing information that you can connect with. They can put you on the path to your righteousness, mm. and not necessarily in the in the Bible. But go ahead, you were going to say that before I cut you off. Yeah, no, but 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 it's interesting because let me let me tell you, I most I mention this in most of my clients. You, I mean, in most of my sessions. Um, pastors come to me, preachers come to me, Jehovah Witness really? come to me, Christians come to me, Catholics come to me, Muslims come to me. You get what I'm saying? Wow. So, yeah, I y- yeah. Uh, you you if you go in my archives, you will hear I'm an ex Christian. I'm in the Bible, but you know, like, but this is what I'm saying. It, it it's now a split. It's now a split. It's like okay, who want to get down? Who want to get on the mothership? The mothership is Earth. Who wants to ascend? Yeah. Who, who's willing to ascend, you know, because as they said in the Bible, they said, what, nine, uh, eight thousand or four, or 401, some number they said, um, that add up to the number nine, I think it's 4,100 or something, I don't know, but they said in the later days, in the last days, there will be right. a split, and it's only going to be a certain amount of people that are going to get with the program and that's just a metaphor we're saying listen it's only going to it's going to be a certain amount of people that's going to be into consciousness it's going to be into spirituality because there's none yes. there's nothing other than believing in your own spirit or in the ancestors yes. no such thing yes. as jesus christ a lot of us has put the bible down a lot of us have already realized that Jesus Christ does not make sense whatsoever. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So that's re- yeah. this is the reason why I'm saying we are already in the look at all of these young these young conscious people putting on daishiki. Oh, our sisters, I get you what you're saying. Yes, I our get sisters what you're saying. wearing our natural yes. hair now, embracing the blackness, yes, embracing the darkness. You know, being un- unapologetic. All of these yes. what? All of these uh, celebrities now they speaking out. Right. You see, so this is yes. the cycle of I know. There's no no longer I believe because believe is a belief is a deception. You can deceive. You can be deceptive yes. to yes. believe in. Yes. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's a whole different energy. Whole, it's a different. whole different energy. 
It's a whole yeah. dish. It's a, it's a shift. It's a shift in consciousness. It's a shift. Yeah. When you can walk and you can go to the bathroom on your own, you don't say, I believe I can go to the bathroom. You're like, I know I can go to the bathroom. Right. You know, you know it's, 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 it's like a power versus force thing. Mm -hmm. When you have power, it's not like you, it's, it's, it's anything working against it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to work hard mm -hmm. for it. But when you using your, when you um, using the force, that means you have to be clever. Mm -hmm. Now you have to think of ways to try to figure out. You understand? That's more energy mm -hmm. instead of just using your brilliance, mm -hmm. which comes naturally. Mm -hmm. And I think that we are more in that age now where we're using, utilizing our brilliance because we are connected to the energy of awakening. Yes. And I, I'm so happy for that. Yes. I, uh, I sometimes wonder if my son is, uh, you know, he is, he's getting into it. You know, he's at some, some of it kind of, you know, makes him a little upset because, you know, sometimes we go to see certain people speak, you know, conscious mm -hmm. individual. And I say, I always say, just take out of it what works for you. Right. I'm not saying you got to believe and stick to and follow somebody. No, just take out of it what works for you, what resonates with you. That's what you're there for, to hear that information. Mm -hmm. And I know that we need to, I know that we need to change our food because what we're eating right now is garbage. Extremely. <laughs> yes. That's why I was saying that land, I, oh. I, I was talking to, a, uh, I went to my, my girlfriend had her son question mm -hmm. on, um, Sunday, mm -hmm. and um, I was one of the godparents, and another girlfriend was another one of the godparents. And then the way we were standing, like soldiers, somebody said to both of us, "Y'all don't go to church, do y'all?" Oh no! <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> and neither one of us go to church. Right, right. Oh I man, that was so funny. That but, was. Um, anyway, when I was when I went to pick her up, and when I went to pick her up, she um. She said she was. She always wanted to be a farmer. She always wanted to have a farm. Mm. So I said, "Wow, see how you meet people that connect when you're on that on that path. Oh you don't have God. to go searching for them. They will come your way. They will come within your path. And for that, I am truly grateful. And I'm so grateful that because I wanted to make sure that I was releasing it. Yeah. And yeah. when you said they were talking to you, I said yes. Yeah, they was. Yes. Yeah, they, 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 they. Because again. It is it's more so like you was resonating on my frequency in a sense where your your pi that pineal gland is opening up, you know, um, and that's why they said her her pineal gland, her pineal gland, and my 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 third eye was just postating, postating, postating. So it wasn't it wasn't more so my experience, but it was me tapping into your experience in a sense. Gotcha, now, gotcha. rather you 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 program that or not it's already happening you see you know right. that's that's the beauty that's the beauty of it and it, it, it's a beautiful thing and now I'm glad that you are confirming that you're doing these different things to help you yes. um with this ascension because it's all about ascending it's all about being free it's all about being kind of heart it's all about having no fear it's all about trusting in the universe it's yeah. all about loving yourself it's all about releasing all or everything that no longer serves your highest good it's all about self-love yeah. it's all about not taking things personal it's all about speaking yeah. without sin it's all about speaking yeah. you know not not assuming you know because once you assume things you tend to mix and screw you don't know the truth so now you're speaking right. with sin and you accusing right. people and accusation is going to come right back around to you so yeah. in any event you know with the things that you're doing especially you know this summer solstice as I was telling my other clients like listen y'all got to get with the program if you guys is not fasting you know you rather you rather take a bath for three days you rather you know get into meditation for three days you rather not speak for three days, stay in silence yeah. for three days. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. To get that inner communication yeah. right. Me personally, I would do it, but I got too many clients. You know, I, yeah. I, I just have too many clients where I, I, I'm not able to do it at this particular time. But I have, right. you know, on one of these days I will go without, you know, without speaking because I think that is very vital in communicating with yourself, with your highest spirit. So in any right. event, my love, you know, get get all you need to do is add the yellow candle, anoint it with silver. I mean, cinnamon because you already have the um, you already have the other candles resonating or burning with you. Um, do do so do so on Friday as they said. 
um i would dare i daily recommend that you start working with with oshun um from time to time because her her vibration is coming up with you as well and the only thing okay. that's come and what they're speaking what aspect she's coming on is just the prosperity thing and the abundance thing and i and they say you have not yet you haven't lived yet my love you're living really? now yeah I, I, yeah, I'm for me. she has yes, not. Yes. She has not yet lived, and and that could be many things. You know that that doesn't necessarily have to be physically. That has that could be spiritually. Yes, you have not yes. yet, right? You have not yes. yet lived physically or spiritually or mentally. Yes, yes, yes. And I, I I'm definitely working on it. So yeah. w let me just ask this before you go. Sure. When I anoint it with the cinnamon. Do I use like a cinnamon oil? Do I use cinnamon, the um, powdered cinnamon? How do I do that? Oil, cinnamon okay, oil. Okay, because I have, I have cinnamon oil. That's so, probably okay. why they said that. Yeah, that's why. That's why they told me. Then that's why. That's okay. why they. That's why they told me. Um, cinnamon, 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 because you already have the cinnamon oil. So then that's good. So then yeah. everything is within alignment. All you got to do is just yeah. get the yellow candle. Oh, and then Oshun like cinnamon. That's why. Okay. All that's right. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Because okay. Oshun, she likes it. Li Say that again. I said I'm glad I have it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, do you have any okay. other questions, my love? I, I think you put. I really do have one for my son. Sure. Uh, he just recently um, met this young female that I really, really like, mm -hmm. and they're really, really close. And I just want to. She is. She may have some problems, um, like uh, reproducing. And I gave her something to cleanse herself by Dr. Sabi. And I just want to make sure. Or, or do you see that that will work for her? She gotta she 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 gotta take care of herself. That's the bottom line. Cause you there's no such thing as she has problems, you know, reproducing. She don't have any yeah, problems reproducing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I told her. That's yeah. what I told her. Yeah. But she went to the doctor. I said, don't let a doctor tell you right. that you can't. Right. You know what I'm saying? She right. Said, don't don't do that to yourself. Yeah, you was with somebody for three years, and two of those years you didn't have. You went off your birth control because she took that Depo-Varin, which really did get into her system. Well, then that's um, why you know, she was she was on drugs. Exactly, and I said that's why I gave her the cleanse. I said because this will cleanse you out, and she, you know, she wants to take it, but she doesn't. Because I said it, I think the sooner that you cleanse your body, the better off you are. Because um, that depo was in her because she was 15. She's 21 Ooh. now. And I she definitely, so that's, that's probably why the spirit guy says she got to take care of herself. Um, she's 21 years old. You know, she's, she's, she's a little young to understand health and consciousness, especially if she didn't grow up like that. I would definitely right. recommend, I would definitely recommend, um, that you get her some, the Maya, um, in comparison with the, um, the, the H1 is what you gave her, correct? I gave her, I don't even remember. I think I gave her Estro. H1. Estro and a detox from Dr. Savy. I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, uh, I think it was two I gave her. Which, which is it? It's or something. I can't remember. The Estro, okay, Dr. Savy sells Estro. My aunt, which is his ex-wife who started the business with him, she calls it H1. Okay. So it's the same. It's basically the same thing, um, oh, but different okay. name. Oh, you're in New York City. You could just go down to yeah. Brooklyn and my eye. Oh, okay. And the, get the fig and, tree. Yeah. Let me, write, let me write down what to pick up. Definitely. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna write that down. Um, something Willoughby Avenue. Just, just Google the fig tree in Brooklyn. Um, oh, yeah, and then, the yeah, the fig tree in Brooklyn. I'm actually going to go there, um, on Thursday. I'm going to bring a group of females, um, and educate them on some herbs. Um, oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and I should pick up the H1. Which is the Estro, which is the same as the Estro. Estro. And then you also and want to pick up some the Maya, but tell to get her the Maya, the liquid.
Cause that the, the capsules sometimes people they you know they don't deal with they don't like capsules. I don't like capsules. Yeah, neither do I. Okay. Yeah. So the and and it does give you the directions on how to use it, right? Correct. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to Fig Tree Brooklyn and pick up the H1 and the Maya liquid. G correct. Yeah. Okay. But then too, okay. but yeah, but then too, um. But then, too, the thing about it, the reason why I recommend the Maya for her is because you want to cleanse the blood. She got to cleanse out the yeah. blood. She got to cleanse out all of the toxins and stuff like that that, you know, is in the body so that oxygen or iron can be built. Because, again, oh, yeah. I, the female reproductive system is big on iron. wants that to, to reproduce or I'm pretty sure she do but in any uh, event you want to uh, gear the body up the right way so that when she right, right. one day when she does become pregnant she's able to feed you know feed or or, or support yeah. this, this growing baby so definitely right. definitely um the um the the Maya for her and then the feed the H1 but she has to take it you know, and tell her, listen, if you don't want to take the, because the H1 doesn't really taste that good. Um, that's, you know, it it doesn't taste good. Just, it doesn't. Okay. I think the H1 I gave her in capsules, though. Yeah. Well, if she can taste capsules, then that's good. But she, if she can't take capsules, then I would recommend that she just dump dumps it in um some some water, some warm water, mm -hmm. and then just drink it as a tea. Um, as okay. recommended, like every day or every other month. But, you know, t be easy with her, little by little, because, again, I don't think that – I'm not picking up that she's ready for the holistic yeah. lifestyle. But you, you, but, you, but you know what you're picking up? Uh, I feel the oh. fact that she wants to continue her education, and my son wants to have a child now. Oh. So she's not ready. Oh. That's what I think you're picking up because that's what she mentioned to me. But I said to her, you still need to clean your, cleanse your, your body out. That's right. Because, you, you know, and she said, well, you know what? We need to go grocery shopping so you can show me what to buy. So she is interested. Okay. I just feel that where she's at now, up until I think I mentioned McDonald's, how bad that food is. And you don't know what you eat and children or what. You don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. She was like, really? She didn't even know that. Exactly. So, Yes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's a lot of things that she probably eat that she don't even realize is not really food at all or she, anything that she should be putting into her body. Well, because let me tell you something. Important. Well, the, here, 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 here this go. Um, because you still have a credit with me. So if you want, you if she's open to it, um, have her call me and I will, you know, provide her with a nutritional consultation. Because you oh, still you still have wow, a credit with me. Remember, you have you oh, paid for. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he he's not going to do it. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. That's that's very possible. Anyway, I'm not going to hold up no more of your time. Yes, I okay. love 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 you so much, Miss Ella. Oh, I just love you so much. Thank oh, I appreciate. You. <laughs> yes. I really do. Too. Yes. And um, I just thank you for your for for the work that you do. I really do because I know that you are saving lives. <sighs> No, that that's what, all of us ain't gonna make it. That, all of us ain't gonna make it. All of you know what everyone's I'm, not gonna make it. You right, and you know yeah, what? Yeah. That's that's what motivates me to be who I am because I do know that I'm saving a lot of lives. I yes. I call myself Harriet Tubman, saving black folks. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Ooh, please get that yes. underground tunnel. Yes. yes right. Saving black. Yes. Saving black Negroes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, anyway, yeah. I'm gonna let you go. I got a call on the other line. Okay. I just just sending you so much love and appreciation. Oh Thank my you love. So much. Please keep me posted and and create a blast. I will. Okay. I will. Bye bye. I will. Thank you. <laughs>